Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can insert video files into your presentation slides. You can create video files with several different types of software, and if you have a digital camcorder, you may even have software that allows you to save your recorded movies as one of the file types accepted by PowerPoint. PowerPoint prefers MP4 videos encoded with H.264 video, also known as MPEG-4 AVC, as well as AAC audio. It also accepts the ASF, AVI, WMV, and MPEG file types, but can also use others, although you may have to embed them as objects. When you insert a video file, you can either insert a video from your PC or an online video. It is important to note that if you insert a movie from your PC into a presentation slide, the file is linked to the PowerPoint presentation and not embedded. So if you move the presentation to another computer, you may need to move the linked video too. To insert a video saved on your computer, click the Video button that appears in the Media button group on the Insert tab in the ribbon. Select the Video on My PC command from the Video Buttons drop-down menu. In this case, you will see the Insert Video dialog box appear where you can navigate to and then select the video file to insert. Click the Insert button to insert your video into the slide. To insert a video from an online source, simply select the Online Video command from the Video Buttons drop-down menu to display the Insert Video window. To search YouTube for an online video to insert, type a search term into the Search YouTube field in the YouTube section and then click the Search button to the right of the field. To insert a video that is saved to your SharePoint or OneDrive online storage if you are logged in with your Microsoft account, click the Browse button in either the SharePoint or OneDrive sections that appear. To insert a video from a video embed code that you have copied from a video sharing website, paste the embed code into the Paste Embed Code Here field in the From a Video Embed Code section and then click the Insert button at the right end of the field. If your Microsoft account is logged in and you have Facebook linked, you can click the Facebook button at the bottom of the Insert Video dialog box to access your Facebook account to insert a Facebook video. You will be asked to connect your Facebook and Office accounts to use Facebook. After connecting your accounts, a Facebook section will then display in the Insert Video dialog box where you can click the Browse link to select from the videos you have uploaded to Facebook. Once the video is selected within the presentation slide, you will see the Format and Playback tabs of the Video Tools Contextual tab appear within the ribbon. To select when to play the video when using the Slideshow view, click the Playback tab and then use the Start drop-down in the Video Options button group to select either Automatically to have the media play automatically or On Click to play the video when clicked. You can move and resize a video just as you would a picture or shape. For videos inserted from a file on your computer, you also have many formatting options available on the Format tab within the Video Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. These are many of the same options available as when formatting shapes or pictures. Notice that you may not be able to change some of the attributes of videos that are inserted from online resources. Any button that is grayed out on either the Format or Playback tabs is unavailable for use with online videos. On the Playback tab within the Video Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon, you can set additional playback options within the Video Options button group by checking the checkboxes if they are available for the selected video clip. For videos inserted from a file on your computer, you can also use the buttons available within the Editing button group to trim the video duration or select how long to fade in or out when playing. You can also click the Play button in the Preview button group on either tab within the Video Tools Contextual tab to preview the video while in normal view of your presentation. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachyoucomp dot com forward slash free